Maintenance, security, and technology. Guilford County school leaders have laid out a plan to start spending $1.7 billion in bond funding. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. The district included 36 schools for the first phase of design. And Fox 8's Tess Barzaber joins us here in the studio to break down how much money is going where. Yeah, well, this chart shows the costs for project management and design only. That's expected to total about $228 million. Nearly 30% of the money for, is for high school projects. Just over 20% would go to elementary school projects. And 21%, that's $48 million, would go to deferred maintenance, technology, athletics, education adequacy, and safety and security. In newer schools, what you have is a way in which when there's a fire or um, an emergency, you can quickly contact and many times silently without anyone else knowing, contact the police departments or the fire department to let them know there's an emergency occurring or a situation occurring in your building. The $1.7 billion bond could fund major safety upgrades like interoperable systems in all Guilford County schools. If there's an emergency within the school, all the agencies can be alerted. And if there's a, in, um, a active shooter in an adjacent apartment building, all of our schools can be alerted so that we can have that connection with both fire, police, and medical. Uh, in the event of emergency. Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras explained other security measures allowing better communication between classrooms and main offices. Right now, we don't have that. In fact, uh, we have schools where teachers have to use a personal phone to call the office if there's an emergency or any need, you know, if they just need some assistance. Other improvements like locking classrooms and increased visibility are also on the table. Security cameras is one of the key focus areas, both interior and exterior. Um, we're really focusing on um, making sure that we have a good visibility it's as a deterrent, but also as a ray of understanding what's going on on our campus. The 2022 bond voters approved May 17th could also also fund changes to entryways to limit access. There are buildings without vestibules, mm -hmm. uh, so those will be included in all of the buildings over time. This list for project management and design costs is based on the 2019 facilities master plan. The superintendent explained there could be adjustments in priority projects. We may make some changes just based on swing space in the future, but the board is deeply committed to sticking with which schools are in the most need and working on those schools first. And some of the other projects on the list for design, the Northwest Area Aviation High School and two projects to improve transportation. The next step, the Board of Commissioners must approve the outline plans before contracts are complete. Neil. Just thank you.